So again, interlace is what they use to fix the old problems in the past, and progressive scanning is what they use now. So whenever you see something when you're working with video or uh, buying a camcorder that says like 720p or 60i, that little letter at the end either stands for progressive or interlaced. So it's not going to really make a huge difference when you're working with huge difference when you're working with video. But just to let you guys know that interlace is kind of old, and in the future all camcorders are going to eventually be progressive or something else if they uh, decide that something is even better than progressive. But uh, those are what video frame rate and the difference between interlaced and progressive scanning means. So uh, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. And make sure if you have any more questions to, to uh, submit them to my channel or just message me and ask me and I'll try to answer them the best I can. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. What's up guys, welcome to another video. And this video is actually a response to one of the questions from one of my subscribers. They messaged me and asked me to talk a little bit about compression and uh, what compression is when uh, working with editing video. And what compression is is pretty much a way that uh, software engineers they wanted to take the huge files that um, camcorders made and they wanted to kind of uh, compress them, make them smaller file size, but they didn't really want to lose a lot of the quality of video. So um, since file sizes are so huge for video, such as they can be over 10 gigabytes for only 5 minutes of video, and even higher with high def, they needed to come up with a way to compress video. and um, if you want to know why, why file sizes for video are so huge, it's pretty much because each single pixel on your video needs its own place uh, to store data wherever you're storing it at. So every single little pixel needs to take up a little bit of memory and it also needs to take up um, even more bits depending on what your color range is. Plus on top of that you have audio, plus with the new high def camcorders and stuff you have um, a huge frame size so that's why the file sizes are so big so what software engineers did is they kind of came up with a way to take your file size and compress it to make it even smaller without losing a lot of quality the first thing they did is come up with a way called spatial compression and what this pretty much is is instead of looking at every single pixel they kind of took the frame and looked at it as a pattern overall. And this helped them by doing this instead of looking at every single pixel. This helped them get a better idea and it's a, um, it gave them more of an overall image and it made less data and it also made, uh, made your computer work a lot less and a lot easier on the processor.